Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, our update for Thursday, May 5th, 2020. Free pick in college basketball, where we're red hot coming up in a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to uh, become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, and then you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. All right, another elite level winner last night for us in college basketball with FIU, plus the points. Uh, we hit Georgia State, elite level play six star the day before that big double digit win we are now on a four and oh run since sunday with our elite level plays and 10 and 2 83 percent long term you don't want to miss out on thursday the elite level play college basketball seven star play will be available on thursday at 11 30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific only at docsports.com and we'll look to extend that run to five and oh short term 11 and two long term jump on board for the seven star play in thursday's college basketball i will have one in NBA, I will have NHL, Pro Baskets, Hockey, both released at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time, anytime after that. All right, again, uh, yesterday, it kind of depended on when you got Notre Dame, if you covered or pushed or lost. Uh, Notre Dame, who held a 13-point lead in the second half, ended up losing to Florida State by two. When we posted the video, they were plus two and a half, uh, but they steadily went down throughout the course of Wednesday, went down from two and a half to two to one and a half. Uh, it really depends on when you got that number as to whether you won, lost, or pushed. We hope most of you at the very least pushed. So let's look to win this free pick uh, by a better margin where we don't have to worry about a push or a line movement costing us. And in fact, the line movement's gone the other way on this free pick. It's Boise State, UNLV, Mountain West Conference Tournament. And late Wednesday night, we started to see this number, which at the time was only UNLV minus two and a half, start to drop all the way down to at least one and a half in, in a lot of books. Uh, because of the news coming out about Elijah Mitchell Long uh, being downgraded, not expected to play for the Rebels. He is their star guard. He's played extremely well as they've gotten hot and had this run to get to 17 and 14. Integral, uh, integral part of the team when they were able to beat San Diego State and hand them their lone loss of the season on the road a couple of weeks ago. Uh, here's what they've done against Boise. Okay, first game against Boise, they lose by seven. They shot horribly. They committed 25 fouls. They still only lost by single digits. Second game, which was just not too long ago at the Thomas and Mack, they beat Boise 76 to 66. They beat them by 10, uh, despite the fact that they only made 14 out of 27 free throws and six out of 24 three pointers. They were still able to win the game by 10. Now, I mentioned Mitra Long is probably not going to play in this game for UNLV, but the new coach, first year at UNLV, uh, TJ Oltsoberger, we call him TJO, has basically instilled this mindset of team first with UNLV or next man up, if you will. And listen, the, the injury to Mitra Long might cost this team a chance as an underdog win in the Mountain West Conference Championship. They might not get there, but I think in this particular game, they've got enough to step up and make up for the absence of Mitra Long if he is truly unable to go in this contest. And I expect him to get the win, at least in this particular game against Boise State. So that's what we're going to recommend. UNLV, again, right now, laying as much as two, but mostly one and a half. So we don't mind it. We didn't mind if they were laying two and a half. And we knew Mitra Long uh, had a good chance of not playing at that point. So UNLV, the free pick. Don't forget about the next seven-star elite-level college basketball play. It goes on Thursday night. It's available on Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Let's stay red hot. Appreciate those of you, by the way, who've jumped on board. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Check out my NBA video for Thursday. I'll be right back here on Friday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Let's put Thursday in the win column.